All right, next up we have Richard Brooks. All right. Hi, uh, my name is Richard Brooks. I am a quality assurance engineer at BitTorrent Inc. And I'm going to show you a dashboard that I made. Uh, so at BitTorrent, we use the GitFlow model of branch management and release process. And one of the things that happens is that it's fairly branch heavy. You end up having to keep track of a bunch of branches. And for us, where we have builds for Windows, Mac, Linux, FreeBSD, and a couple different variants of those, you can see how these kind of multiply together and you have a bunch of stuff going on you're trying to keep track of. Um, and so we also use Jenkins uh, to manage our build process. But the problem with the Jenkins dashboard is that it's really only good at showing you a snapshot of the current status. If you want to look back in time at a branch that built maybe a day ago, it, you can't really do that. Uh, so what I made is a branch dashboard using Meteor, where I can send arbitrary information just with a curl post request from my Jenkins build jobs. And it's reflected in the dashboard instantly. Um, so like I said, historical data, I've also put links. So it, it's kind of started to become a little bit of a hub for keeping track of uh, what's going on. So, you, know, you can see from the branch, um, you can link to the GitHub pull request and do code reviews. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, Meteor, I think by now, I think we already know all the awesome stuff that Meteor gets us. And so for what I had to do, I just made a very dumb, simple API that interacts with a Meteor collection that I can post whatever I want to, to it, and it's available for me to show in the UI. Um, it only took me about 300 lines and about a one longer night after work. Uh, demo. So I wrote a little uh, shell script here to kind of show how this is used. Um, so you create uh, master and develop branches. Um, for sure, you always want master to be green. Um, <laughs> And this is showing I am also representing in progress status. So you can kind of see as the build is happening what is um, the current status of all the different platforms. And develop is successful. And you have more than master and develop usually. So I'm going to make a feature branch. I'm going to build some unit tests. And you can see the status typically changes from in progress to <coughs> succeeded. As I execute the unit tests, um, they're running, but they're going to fail. And I can see that they failed. Um, one of the other nice things, I can set arbitrary links for all of these. So I can, when a build is succeeding, I can link to the console output for the successful build or the actual built binary. And if the build failed, I can link to the console output for the failed build. And then the very last thing, you don't want to have these things kind of overpopulate, so you can delete uh, one of the branches. And that's it for the demo. Um, yeah. And so this last slide here is kind of what it looks like in practice. Um, you can see it's a very good way of representing quite a bit of information. All right. Oh. Questions? So the question was, is the source code up on GitHub? Uh, I am working on that. Uh, I've never released a uh, project uh, open source in my time at BitTorrent, um, so this will hopefully be my first. Yep. So the question is, why doesn't Jenkins do that? Um, I think it's the case that you could probably find a Jenkins plugin that does it, that does what you want. Um, in this case, it seemed like a small enough task that instead of searching for it, and I've used Meteor before this. Um, and I hadn't used Meteor in a while, so I wanted to just play with Meteor and have a little bit of fun. Cool. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.